Today's edition of Taco Tuesday is farmer's market focused. And there's all kinds of summer squash in the farmer's market. And if you have a decent farmer's market anywhere near you, you're gonna find that there's squash blossoms. So we're gonna put that together. Corn, the first harvest of the poblano chilies. This is the perfect thing for, well, if you live in Chicago like I do, late July. Okay, so we're starting off here with some caramelized onions in a skillet. These are done in olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped garlic to it and stir that around just until it is aromatic. And that's about right now while the, I got a hot pan going here. Okay, so I've got some uh, Mexican oregano. I'm going to rub it between my palms because it's always sold in the whole leaf form in the Mexican grocery stores. There we go. Give that a little toss to get that going. And then I'm gonna take those out of the skillet Put that back on and give it just a touch of olive oil in the bottom. I'm gonna lie because I'm gonna give it a little bit of olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. It's more than just a touch. And then I've got cubed summer squash. Let's talk summer squash while this is starting to cook in the pan here. So zucchini is what everybody thinks about. It's my least favorite of all of the summer squash. My second least favorite is those yellow crookneck, but let's just face it, they all will work for a dish like this. My very favorite are the light-skinned, super tender-skinned ones like they grow in Mexico. And here in Chicago, all the farmers are growing them now because they harvest beautifully. You can take them straight to the market, sell them. People can take them home and they're super sweet. They don't have the bitterness that we associate with the Italian cultivars of zucchini, the dark-skinned ones. Dark, color always equals flavor. That darker color always will have a touch of bitterness in it. And these are the light-skinned ones called tatume. Uh, sometimes you'll find the round ones that are light-skinned, light green-skinned. And those are typically called rondonis, a uh, French cultivar that a lot of the farmers around here are growing. But let's face it, any kind of summer squash can be used in this particular preparation. I think you're really gonna love it. Okay, so tossing that around, they're starting to soften up now. Let's go on to the rest of the ingredients that are gonna be used in this. Let's talk squash blossoms first here. Okay, so I don't know if you all know this, but all plants produce male and female blossoms and you are going to be working with the male blossoms. That's the only one that will be harvested in the blossom form. So the way that you can tell it is an anatomical little thing that won't surprise you. It's got that thing sticking up in the middle of it. That's the male blossom there. And you wanna like get rid of that, then take the little sepals off the outside. These are the parts that covered the blossom before it opened up. Then break the stem off right there and then you've got your clean squash blossom. I've got a whole bunch of them down here. You can use this bulb part at the base of it or not use it, um, whichever you prefer. I kind of like the flavor of it uh, because it'll add a little bit more vegetal flavor. Now, what do squash blossoms add to any dish? They're gonna add a beautiful color, a sort of sense of, of like celebration because you're cooking with all these flowers. Now let's face it, in Mexico, where they have so many squash that they're cooking with all the time, in the markets, they have the squash blossoms. The male blossoms never produce fruit, so it's easy to go in and harvest them, and every plant will usually produce about 10 male blossoms to every one female blossom. So you've got a lot of these things to work with. And in Mexico, they will typically just cut them up rather than the Italians that tend to want to stuff them and batter them and fry them. In Mexico, they'll take the squash blossoms and cut them crosswise like this and add them to a dish toward the end of the cooking. Okay, so we've got our squash blossoms that have been cleaned and now sliced up. The next ingredient that we're gonna talk about here is the chilies. Now, whatever kind of chilies you like and you can find in your farmer's market, those are the ones that you're gonna choose. I am wild about poblanos. I think they're one of the most delicious chilies on the face of the earth. So I've got poblano that has been roasted directly over the open fire. You can see just a, a burner that's on. You can see it's blackened all the way around. When it cools off, you can peel off that papery skin now, that blackened papery skin. 
uh, tear out the uh, stem end and the seed pod and then you'll, it'll look like that and then cut it into little strips. I've got uh, several of those done right here. And I think that our calabacitas, our summer squash here, are ready to receive all of the roasted poblano chili. So those are going to go into the skillet along with this corn that's been cut off the cob. This is the perfect summer dish for our farmer's markets right now here in Chicago. We're going to add to that the squash blossoms. I mean, this is just a riot of beautiful fresh vegetables. Those caramelized onions are going to go in on top of it to add depth and sweetness. And lastly, crema. So we've got Mexican crema. Now this is some that we made ourselves. We start with heavy cream. And just like you were going to be making yogurt, we add a culture to it. The culture that we use is actually a sour cream culture. And we let that set at room temperature for about 12 hours and then refrigerate it for 12 hours. And it makes this beautiful creme fraiche like crema, very similar to my favorite ones in Mexico. So we'll let this all cook together for a couple of minutes until it comes together, looks beautiful, and it's ready to make into a taco. My standard recommendation to anyone cooking is that you taste your food and then you salt it. Don't just go adding a half a teaspoon of salt to something just because the recipe says it's going to take a half a teaspoon of salt. So this doesn't have any salt in it at all. So I'm going to need to add probably a close to a teaspoon to this amount of these beautiful vegetables here. So stir that all together. It's got all of them the beauty of roasted chilies and then the beautiful view, the look of these squash blossoms in here, which will add a kind of gentle flavor to it, kind of a vegetable, vegetal flavor. Okay, one more taste to see if I got it where I need it to be. Okay, we're going to move over here. Take our beautiful mixture of vegetables, make a taco. Okay, corn, calabacitas, squash blossoms, roasted peppers, little cream, some queso fresco. You could put a whole handful of cilantro in there if you wanted to. You could cook some episote into this mixture if that appeals to you. Pure summer taco. 